Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I have a huge haul for antique stuff and for journaling. And it's all mishmash of mis mishmash of how I got it, where I got it, who got it, and what I got. So first of all, my friend Mary, our little bloodhound, can find anything at a garage sale or a thrift store that anything she's looking for she finds. It's like uncanny. So she's been my little um, dollar shopper this summer so far, and it's been kind of fun. She can find everything. She found these awesome cards. This is um, like kitchen gifts from your kitchen. Kitchen boutique, isn't that cute? So these will be fun to put in journals or even make. That would be good. That's kind of like that. Long Island tea, isn't it? What was that tea we used to make? This is back from the 70s. Definitely. So just cute little cards. And she also found... And these were still in the package. I wish she would have gotten more. But she also found these. For um, house plants. Outside plants. So just really cool. They're brand new. So that was really fun to find. Or I should say see. Because she found it. She found a bunch of other stuff. But I've already you know, put it away in order. And I should have taken a picture of the, the pile she gave me. And I didn't. So I feel bad. She bought. She's gotten a few of these kinds of books. I'll take a picture of the other ones. But this is in really nice shape. It's got this extra little cookbook in it. Well used and well loved. But these are in pretty good shape for, for the age. The tabs are nice. Everything's in here. This will be fun to divvy out and use. So that's um, another thing from her. It's on the bottom of this pile, so I will let you know when that comes up. Then... I did a little garage sale last week and found this in a free bin. And I just thought it'd be kind of fun. I kind of collect old boxes of stuff that I remember from my youth. So this would be just kind of fun to put doodads or cards or whatever in. So that was free. You're like, yeah. And then I found, now this, this is mine. But I found this little Alpha Stamper. It's got a, a washer on the bottom. And these are all magnetized. And this is the font. It's a really cool font. Um, just a little hard to stamp. But what I have did is I put a line for the center. So at least, at least, at least with alphabets, I can figure out where the center is. And stamp it straight on. So I thought that was cool. But it came in um, this little bin, which you'd have to dig for the letters every time. So I put it in here and just took the tags. These are all Paris tags from Cavallini. So I just took the tags out and stuck them in there. Um, mm, this is really cool. I found a advertisement in the parade magazine for 200 stamped U.S. stamps for a dollar. So I signed in or sent it in, got it, and this is my second little pack because you can get as many as you want. But it's really cool. There's a lot of cool varieties. Like this is Bicentennial 1955. Fort Ticonderoga. I, yeah, Ticonderoga. Huh. I don't know the pencil was named after a fort. And then Wildlife Conservation. Three cent stamp, so that's old. But they're all different. Um, just all kinds of cool stamps. That's pretty. So then what I do, or am doing, is 
putting them in like wildlife, you know, people, patriotic, that's cool. That is really cool, airmail. It's another airmail. So check it out. You can even go on their website and get the dollar um, for 200 stamps. Here's the Christmas one. They're just such a cool variety. Nurses. And then, of course, you know, I had to order some for Scrubby and some cool stamps. But they're really good prices. And this is kind of fun to see what you get. Okay, so that's that. <clears throat> I also had a friend sign up for it. <laughs> get the stamps. Then I saw, this was at a garage sale. I think these are all from the same one. Or wait. Uh, yeah. So I got one of birds. This was a really cool lady. You could tell she was like, like a naturalist. And all her books were from her kids that she taught them about the birds and the bees. Isn't that cute? So this would be really cool to use. I love this one. Look, cutie. She's not sure what she's looking at. So cute. Oh, look at it. Chickadees in winter. This I thought was cool. I always wondered what this book was about. And I don't know what I'll do with it. I might cut up the pictures. Look at cute Matthew. I might cut up some of the pictures and use the, you know, images. Strange little story though. So there's that. These were like, I think I got them all. All these, these two, for like a buck. It's crazy. This is awesome. These will be cute little things to cut out and slip in a book or journal. Who's sneaking in my home? Fun little pictures. And even um, just things to learn that you haven't yet. And these are cool. I love this. This is Scott's. And most of them, not all of them are color. It's a lot more black and white. But they'll still work to cut up. Three bears. All the old tails. That's cool. But this is the best. I gotta make a little bridge here. Hope I can open it. Nope. I'll have to make a non bridge. Hang on. All right. I think I'll, look, I'll show this. Scrubby found this at a garage sale. That's awesome. The whole story about the Dion quintuplets. I wonder if they're still alive. This is a long time ago. 1941. I suppose they should be. They're like 80 some years old. Kind of cool to find out where they are. So that's cool. Um, yeah, these are, where'd that little book go? These are um, Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. All right, so I'll show this. I think we had this in school. I actually think I actually owned it myself too. I'm pretty darn sure. 
So I have, um, I'll have to check my bookcase. So I have this one in a book on Minnesota. This is so awesome. I know we had it, at least in school if not, in my house. So this was so cool. Oh, look at that one. Mandarin. So fun. Every kind of bird. Then, this, um, we do the marketplace stuff last. Mary found this, Mary, and I, I'm pretty darn sure my grandma had this with her Victrola. And she loved listening to music. But this is like um, all sheet musics for the Gilbert and Sullivan. But cute illustrations. This is cool. The sorcerer. It's all their plays, I guess. 1941, the year the quintuplets were born. So trial by jury, the sorcerer, HMS Pinafore, never saw it. Never saw Pirates of Penzance. Patience, Elo, Eoland, I don't know. Princess Ida, the Mikado, I saw that. Rudigor. The Yeoman of Guard and the Condoliers. Mm. That's really pretty. Look at this lithograph. That's how they still should print. Because it's just beautiful color. Never fades. This will be cool. Love it. Then. Um, oh, the last thing Mary, Mary found was this adorable book. I love everything about it. I love it. The colors, the artwork, the little, I mean, look at that. Cute little flowers. Happiness is everywhere. How cute is that? This has got to be 70s. Ooh, 67. I'm way off. And that is gorgeous. That blue. So pretty. Isn't that cute? All the tiny little details. Little snail. Little crab or starfish. <clears throat> cute. So that is so cute. Look at how cute. Thank you, Mary. This I found on Facebook Marketplace. I actually thought it was a bigger book because of the photo, but it's even better than what I thought. And this is 40, I think it's 75. Yeah, because X is 60, L is 10, V is five. So that's 1975. I thought it'd be fun to get some of these little books um, just to, for watercolor painting just to have some examples. And I probably am gonna try to scan these in and make some uh, digis out of them. Isn't that cute? That'll help with pansies. Bleeding heart. Peony. Some say peony, some say peony. How I say peony? As my sister-in-law says it. Isn't that pretty? Box club. Ooh, that's pretty. It's 
So there's that. Super cool. This I found uh, last week. And I'll put her uh, mark up with all their marketplace uh, names down below. Alright, so this is from a seller on Facebook Marketplace. I'll put her link down below. She's super sweet and nice. And it's a gorgeous little book. The only thing wrong with it is this. But I wanted it more for watercolor practice. They're black and white or color. Look at how gorgeous that is. So pretty. I think these are so cool too. But it's a little children's book of flowers. Imagine if we had this um, today for our kids. Or for kids today. That'd be so cool. I love that. Look at the bee. Isn't that pretty? I'll probably also see if I can get this on my scanner. Scan it in. And have some digitals. Isn't that cool? I love it. So if you're interested, Maxton Books for Little People, Herma Wild. I think it's from 60, oh, 52. Wow, it's older than what I thought. So that's pretty cool. Then, um, these are from another seller. I'll put her link down below too. They were both really nice sellers. Most sellers on Facebook Marketplace are great. Um, very nice and honest and that always helps. But this is kind of cool. I love that so much. That'd be cute paper for a um, kid's book. Like as in make one. I mean obviously it is a kid's book. And this is cool um, to use some of these pictures and then words. Babsy Barnes used um, a workbook kind of thing for a lot of her stuff and it's just kind of cool how she can use them like cut that out and just use it in her artwork. So that's what I'm hoping for. These are so cute. That that'd be cute for um, like a kid's book to make little pages they can color in. This is so awesome. So that'll be fun. And this one. Read and write about puppets. This is really different. It's cool. Mr. Tommaso. So you can color it. Learn how to write. And how to figure out, you know, how many, how to count. So that's really cute. Cute images, too. So cute. Um, then, I don't think I did these. I ran out of, my camera went berserk. So I'm not sure if I did this stuff. So I'll do it again. And then Scrubby found these at a garage sale. I think they were like a quarter. But this was right down <clears throat> the city next to us is South St. Paul. And then um, at the end of South St. Paul is the river, Mississippi. And that's where all the stockyards um, were. And Peter's, Wieners, well, Peter's company, Armor, a lot of different um, meat companies were down there. Until the, I think, mid to late 70s. And then they hauled them all out. I think they just moved on to different states and stuff. So these are cool. So I 
all he wants is a few of them, and then I can use the rest for, um, like, ephemera packs, you know, to have, like, for a kitchen one, or just a cool logo. It's weird how they had um, pine cones and pine bow. So it actually says St. Paul, which is weird, but I'll have to find out. Um, there's a lot of people from South St. Paul that live in our neighborhood, so I'll ask them what they know about Peter's. Um, yeah, so that's it for my little haul. Kind of big haul. And like I said, there's some stuff I put away already. Or actually, from Mary. Yeah, she found this too. This is upstairs. She just found some paperwork. I think it's from Mary, or else it's from the ledgers I got. Mm. 1910. Yeah, I think this is from the ledgers. Kilkenny, Minnesota. I think, I think, I think. Just cool ledger kind of stuff. Fire department. Dues for 1955. Oh, incorporation was 1910. That's cool. I don't even have never heard of Kilkenny, Minnesota before. Huh. So that's cool. Anyways. And also, a really pretty tin. I've never seen this one. Um, not that I've seen them all. But it's Syndicate Manufacturing from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Very pretty. So there's that section. That's not all of it, but that's all I'm going to show. Um, only because I've put most of the stuff away already. So, um, thanks for watching. Which was your favorite? Let me know down below. And subscribe if you haven't. And thanks so much, and I'll see you later. Bye.